Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Marshall, live, and I am live, and I'm super excited to announce that today marks my 50th day sober. Uh, I gave up uh, alcohol 50 days ago, took my last drink of booze 50 days ago. The last time, the last beer that I had, I didn't even know it was going to be my last drink ever. Uh, and so today's like a really cool day. I I, uh, I never thought that I, Marshall Gillen, would ever see the day that I stopped drinking. And I want to share with you real quick in this video, something really, really powerful that came to my attention last night. And I was like, oh my God, if I'm doing this with my sobriety, I bet you there's other people out there who are doing this same thing with X, Y, and Z, whatever it is. And so stay tuned because there may be something in your life that is limiting you. And I want to share with you real quick what I learned with my 50th day sober. And it's this, Gillen gang. First off, I want to know, how do you feel about sobriety? How do you feel about that? I see a lot of growing trend. I see a growing number of people, influencers, people who are deciding to go sober. And I just think it's a, a super interesting, uh, I don't want to call it a trend, but maybe, maybe it's like a new vibrational frequency. But I want to know first off what you guys think about it. So if you're watching this live or you're watching this on replay, uh, are you sober? Have you thought about going sober? Uh, for me, it wasn't necessarily that I had uh, trouble drinking. Like it wasn't like I ever, I, I was never like, oh my God, I, go to, I have to go have a drink. But my problem is, is that I would, um, I would start drinking and I wouldn't stop. And then my drinking would lead to drug use almost a hundred percent of the time. And so it's been much longer than 50 days, uh, since I last used uh, cocaine m much longer. However, I've had some incidents over the last few months where I've been like, dude, I need to quit drinking. And so 50 days today, I'm super excited. Check this out. I'm actually on vacation right now. We are on spring break with the kiddos. It's raining and snowing out. We're in Hayden, Idaho uh, at this place called Triple Play. Uh, so it's an indoor water park and it's pretty cool. And it's interesting because it's the first time that I've had an opportunity to like, quote unquote, go on vacation without drinking. Okay. I don't know how you vacation, but my whole life, it's either we wake up and start pre-gaming while we're on the way to vacation, then start as soon as we get there as well. Or it's like, as soon as we walk into the hotel or check in, like we're not even checked in and we go to the bar, right? And not that that's good or bad, like different strokes for different folks. A lot of people out there can handle their alcohol. I, Marshall Gillen, can't even have one drink. And that's what I'm learning. And it's interesting because today's day 50 and it's, it's like, um, I've been so proud of myself, okay? So this is where you might relate to this, okay? I've been so proud of myself. I, I'm like 50 days. I can't believe that I've gone 50 days without a drink. I grew up in the Midwest on a farm. We do everything with a drink in our hand. And so uh, I, I'm all celebrating. I'm part of this sober community and I've been finding sober friends. And so I posted on, my, on this page, I was like, where are my sober people at, right? And uh, I'm like, Mr. 50, 50, day, 50 days sober, I'm waving my flag. And all of a sudden it was like, Oh, uh, four, it was like a uh, four years, six years, 23 years. I've been sober for uh, 12 years. I've been sober for 22 years, like at time after time after time. And it was interesting, Gillen gang, because here I am in my own little bubble. I'm celebrating day 50. I'm so fucking excited. And all of a sudden I go online and I look for some, not, I, th I think subconsciously some validation, right? That there's like, there's other people out there like me. And what am I met with? I met with people who have accomplished way more way longer and probably way harder than I have in the first 50 days. And in that moment right there, Gillen Gang, it was a natural response. I immediately compared my journey and where I'm at right now to that person's journey who I don't even know and that person and that person and that person. And all of a sudden I used it as a subconscious programming to judge myself and feel bad about what I haven't done yet. And I know better now because I, this is what I do for a living. I'm a personal development coach. I help people become the best versions of themselves. But it started by first being my own best client, being my own best customer, and learning myself and figuring myself out. And so I was able to catch this very, very quickly. But this is the loop that a lot of people stay stuck in is that we, we go try really hard at something. And what, no matter what the result is, the result can be, can be good or bad. And who is to say that's totally subjective? The result is the result, but all too often we'll find like that we're super proud of ourselves or happy with our result. And as soon as we go out to the world, we'll find that there's somebody out there that's been doing it longer, doing it better, doing it like a different type of way. And we will always be met with the opportunity to judge ourselves and be met with the opportunity to compare ourselves and then to knock ourselves down a peg.
We've got to accept the fact that most of us grew up and some sort of, had some sort of experience, some sort of trauma as a child, whether it was from parents or teachers or whatever. We experienced some sort of trauma as a child. And so we, we, we become subconscious programming to being told no or to being judged or to being compared to somebody else and why we're not living up to it. So when we move away from our parents or we move away from those situations or we're able to break free, we'll subconsciously have this programming where since there's nobody else around to discipline us or to judge us or to shame us, we'll do that ourselves without even realizing it. And it's just a first nature. And so something you guys have been hearing me talk about a lot lately that we definitely talk about and recovery from addiction is you're not responsible for your first thought. So when I have this first thought, oh my God, I suck. Uh, I'm, I'm at 50 days, but that person's at 26 years. I suck. The first thing I have to do is, is be able to catch that thought, observe that thought, realize that that thought, that type of story is what is the limiter in my life. And so I'm able to go, oh, wait, that's a bullshit old story, Marshall. That's a bullshit old story because you are exactly where you need to be in your journey right now, which is at day 50, going strong and ready to fucking keep kicking ass. You understand what I mean, Gillen Gang? And so I don't know where you're at in your life that you were ready to be proud of yourself, but you then compared yourself to other people and took yourself down a peg. I'm going to invite you after seeing this video to not do that anymore. I'm going to invite you to change the story. I'm going to invite you to know that you're legitimately right now in this fucking moment of watching this video, you are enough right now. You cannot get it wrong and you will literally never fail because, because regardless of how big the results are that you create in this life and in this world, you're going to die. And I'm sorry, so it's just not that serious. Oh, but Marshall, I want to make sure that when I'm dying, I leave a legacy so people can like, dude, like, okay, that's cool, but there is no future and the past doesn't exist. It's literally only ever right now, right now. And so who gives a fuck about the legacy and who gives a fuck about the past? Why can't we just be proud of ourselves right now? Why can't we just be in love with something right now? Why is there gotta be so many limits on feelings, right? Why, why can't we just be in love with who we are right now? Why can't we just accept you know what? I'm a little fucked up right now, but I'm so excited. I'm in love with the fact that I can get better. I'm in love with the fact that I can get better skills. I'm in love with the fact that I can find mentors and other people who can show me the blueprint and the context of how it's done successfully or done the way that I see success. I, I'm in love with the fact that I can level up my network, level up my friends, level up the people and how they feel and how they think and surround myself with them. Like, I'm in love with that. And so Gillian Yang, if you're watching this right now, something tells me, it just told me real quick, my family just went inside. We just got done indoor uh, go-kart racing, but something told me to go live and just share this message. So I don't know how many people are gonna see this video, but I know that the universe and God has it on my heart to share this message. So if you're seeing this, it's not by mistake. It's because you asked for a prayer, you asked for a sign, and the universe, God manifested your answer, that sign as Marshall Gillen to tell you, look, yo, Take your foot off your own back. Like that's okay that you're on the ground, but you're never going to be able to get up if you don't take your own foot off your own back. You've got to reach down and be willing to pick yourself up and start where you're at. Accept where you're at, accept what you've done and who you've been in the past and just make the decision right now to change it and fall in love with yourself and fall in love with the process. I had an opportunity last night to take myself down a peg when I compared myself to somebody else's journey. Fuck that. 26 years for that person. Dude, that's so kick ass awesome. Oh, congratulations. I can't imagine how hard that is. I'm at day 50 and I'm in love with that because I'm in love with my journey because I accept everything that I am and the fact that I'm enough right now and the fact that I'm in love with the process and I'm in love with being alive because in the end, I'm just going to die. So none of this fucking matters. All right. I'm going to go uh, eat some Chipotle and uh, hang out with my family and maybe go down some water slides. I love you guys. Hey, if you guys haven't thought about how to level up your network, how to level up your mentors, how to level up your skills, reach out and have a ch chat with me. I have a private mastermind called Gillen University and we're doing coaching in there. High level coaching for only a dollar a day. I'd love to invite you in and have you join us. But I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you and uh, take your foot off your back. Let's get it, Gillen gang.